Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. So we have a Chiron T-square, it looks like. So healing the self is the key. Um, it's connected to the North Node in Gemini and Saturn. I feel like it's you do what you want to do and don't cave into peer, like a peer pressure here, Saturn and Aquarius. Do what you want to do. Um, you don't, if you want to do something, go for it. The universe will support you. Venus here is squared to the Saturn. Venus is also connected to the North Node Gemini. Whatever it is that you want, even if other people around you don't feel like you should do that, Saturn and Aquarius is like expectations from a large group of people you should stay true to yourself basically go for what you want um it's a really positive time for supporting your hopes and your dreams uh chiron is the wounded self so he wa it's the story of it's an asteroid and when it moves into a sign it's about healing the wounds of yourself and in aries it's the identity so it was in pisces before so it was like healing the psychological state of mind now it's the self and that could even be appearance um anything to do with your identity who you are and the universe will totally support you right here okay so i have my oracle deck i'm going to pull a few cards from it's just the rune symbols we're going to see what this has in store for aries Oops. <laughs> wow, so the one that fell out is the rebirth or new beginnings, the birch tree. Um, the birch tree re regenerates, rebuilds. It's a new phase of life. So there's a new beginning here for Aries. Some kind of a new beginning. I think I'll just pull that one. So the symbol for this in the runes from the uh, Nordic Viking rune is Burkana. It could be anything that's symbolic a new, of a new phase in your life. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the tarot. Let's ask the tarot what's in store, in store for Aries today. Holy Spirits and Angels. Messages for Aries with this new beginning coming in. And that deck is available for purchase if you want to buy it. It's on my website. And they're all the rune symbols on a card with an explanation. We're getting a king of money, <laughs> a king of pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, king. It's an adult, somebody very serious and strong, um, very slow, methodical, Taurus energy. It could be you, it could be somebody around you. Wow, so we have here the queen of wands, Aries energy flipping out in the crossing, supporting, helpful, you could be doing something interacting with this person. Okay, we have here a page of pentacles. I feel like this person grew up. There's something about this energy where they improve themselves. We have a knight of cups here coming in. A message of love, an offer of love, or some good news coming in for you here. The knight of cups comes in. So that's a poetic message, a message from the soul, a message from their soul, six of coin, yeah, I'm just gonna, so 
somebody here, this makes sense to me because if there's a page of pentacles bringing you an ace of pentacles, the ace of coin is coming in, it's being brought by a page or a messenger, or it could be the king, it's being delivered as an act of graciousness or an act of generosity, kindness. Six of Pentacles is represents the moon when it's in Taurus. So the moon represents our emotions, our intuition, the way we feel. It also rules over how we feel safe and secure. So somebody here is being generous to you because they want to, because they're, they feel like they want to. The Ace of Cups is here too. So like I said, this rebirth, new beginning, um, this uh, runes symbol, it's it's showing, it's popping up here in the tarot. King of Wands is your energy today. You are taking action. There, it could be a person around you, but it's coming up in, as your energy, taking action. We have the energy of strength around you. Somebody is strong, resilient. There's the energy of, it could be some, the way somebody sees you as very strong. We have temperance is what you wanna be. You wanna be patient, temperate. You wanna be, I feel like you wanna be easy to get along with. You wanna be the person that, although you're coming up with Aries energy here, Queen of Wands, could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. But you want to be, unless you're dealing with Sagittarius, you want a Sagittarius person to connect with you. But it could just be that you want to be patient. You want to be easygoing. King of Wands is your energy, though. Masculine fire, taking action, an entrepreneur, someone who goes after what they want. You get a page of water who delivers the ace right here. So... The messenger who delivers the ace. So this could be love. This could be career. Pentacles are here. Emotions are here. Water is here. So what is this page of cups? I feel like here it's either you blocking this or it's something here about being courageous. Wow, you've got to be kidding me. we got this judgment again. Something here being raised up, resurrected. Something you maybe thought was over. There could be, mm, maybe there's a harsh judgment against someone. What is the Ace of Cups here? Why are we getting Ace of Cups? What is Ace of Cups? Hierophant and the Nine of Cups, a wish that comes true. Hierophant can be marriage. It's the energy of Taurus. It's the energy of an institution or tradition. The Hierophant can also grant something. He's got the keys on him, so there's something here about somebody granting you something. They have the keys. They have the authority to do it. It's very spiritual, but it can be just about, you know, operations somebody who has the power or the authority king of cups is on the bottom water sign pisces cancer scorpio a person with deep emotions strong feelings with the ace of wands they have very strong feelings they have passion that's driving them knight of wands is below it so your environment has strength somebody around you could be it's a test of their strength. It could be that there's a person around you that sees you as very strong, like a leader. But this Ace of Water comes in. And the Nine of Cups right here, it's something you've been wishing for. It's a wish. Once again, it's that wish that comes true that affects the way you feel. However, there's this Seven of Wands, Courageous Bravery, coming in. What is the Courageous Bravery with Judgment and the Page of Cups? What is the judgment? Messenger of air. 
fast information that comes in, Knight of Swords. What is the Six of Pentacles? What is the Six of Pentacles? Somebody being generous, kind. That's the judgment. That's something that's being raised up. It's a calling, a spiritual renewal. It's a rebuild. It's a renewal. So what is this Page of Pentacles? The page delivers the ace that you're going to get from a king. Three kings are here. King of Cups, King of Wands, King of Pentacles. Okay, so the king, Page of Pentacles is Page of Water. And page of Water was the outcome. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, someone delivering the emotions, how they feel. What is the page of water? Okay, there's some fear here. I feel so a person is trying to come towards you and they are overcoming their fear of coming towards you. Page of fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have every king. We have a water sign, a fire sign. Even air energy. We have earth, very strong. What is the judgment? Someone feels like they want to come towards you. What is this wish? What is nine of cups? What is nine of cups, the wish? Eight of air. Again, somebody's overcoming their fear. Four of wands. The stable, happy home. A match marriage, partnership. You're coming up as King of Wands, a leader. What is the King of Wands? What is the King of Wands? Aries kind of in a masculine role. Moon. An illusion. Something that's uncertain. A seven of air. Somebody could be wearing a false mask. Um, I don't feel like it's this wish you're getting, though. Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. What is the Page of Cups about right here with the, as the outcome with the Seven of Wands? It's like they're taking a risk to a bear. They've made a decision. So they're, they've made a decision to come towards you. Hierophant again. Something about traditions, rules, regulation, um, somebody who can grant you something, Taurus energy. Why is there a seven of wands? Courageous. Okay, somebody is walking away from a fight or from a defensive energy. Somebody's walking away from that. Five of air. So you're getting some kind of reward. Four of air. Two of water on the bottom. Ooh, with the Ten of Cups. Total and justice. Wow. There's a judgment, there's a Ten of Cups, and there's a justice. Three of Swords here in death. Seven of Wands. Ace of Wands. Star card. King of Air with the star. Could be Aquarius. So there's either another opportunity in love or career coming towards you. It's something that you've been hoping and wishing for. Um, and you probably have to walk away from another scenario. What is justice being served here? Four of Wands, uh, achieving a goal of stability. What is Four of Wands? Magician manifestation could also be a divorce or separation. Yeah, eight of water, where you're walking away from one scenario, but you are getting some kind of wish that's coming true. Two of cups, ten of water, justice, the judgment. Okay, there's an ace of water coming in for you, Aries with the Hierophant and the Nine of Water, which is a celebration. It's like there's some kind of a celebration energy, but what 
What is the, what else do we have here for Aries is the outcome with the judgment and the page of cups? Be Scorpio, nine of fire. King of earth, king of coin. Could be somebody with money. <laughs> Seven of water, you have more options. And eight of water again. You'll have to walk away from one situation to another situation. Ten of water, you're, you're going to be happy about that. Okay, let me just pull out one card, see what we have for Aries. Creativity. Best possible to decision, trusting your true north. Okay, Aries, this is your daily read. Thank you for tuning in and take care.